In our lifetimes, we've seen the web evolve from what initially was quite a primitive set of digital facilities into a very sophisticated array of applications uh, and things that we use on an everyday basis in our lives, whether we're shopping, trying to get to a place that we don't know, using uh, digital resources, or communicating with our friends. Obviously, the web is with us everywhere, and it's going to get more and more uh, sophisticated uh, in the years to come. This has a range of implications for us that all of us think about and all of us worry about. It's got a range um, of very positive implications, new services that we can use, but there are negative implications as well. We're concerned about our privacy. We're concerned about who, who has access to our images, who has access to our data, what's it being used for. These are well-known issues uh, that are discussed very widely in contemporary society. There are particularly interesting implications, of course, for social media. Uh, in this new world of the web, everybody's a publisher. Everybody can put content online. It's a great form of creativity, a great form of expression. And we've seen a real rise of creativity across people who previously didn't have access to communicate their insights and their ideas. So that side uh, of the new web is an extremely positive creative development. But there's also a downside to that. Because everybody's a publisher, everybody's a newsmaker, uh, we have a world that is a cacophony of voices. And it's often extremely difficult to sort those out, to work out truth from fiction, to deal with concepts of fake news, for example, to find out what really happened, what's authentic, what information we can rely on, what information we should discard. So the social media world is a complicated world and a particularly complicated world when we're considering how digital technologies get used in teaching, in learning, in colleges, and in universities. So are we prepared for this rapidly changing world of the web? Can we ever be prepared for something that changes so fast that we have almost a new innovation every week? How do we prepare ourselves uh, for something that is changing so rapidly? This obviously has implications for all of us. In particular, what are the implications for students? What are the implications for universities? What are the implications for teachers? We're seeing teachers more and more bringing social media into their classrooms, into the learning experience. Are they prepared for that? Are their students prepared? We spoke to a range of students across colleges and universities to get their views, their perceptions, their insights, their fears, their ideas about what this new world was about.